but the third one is I've had pretty good luck with thrillers from them, so because my patrons like to choose violence, paint that just the way. Dark Age is not fun. <laughs> March TBR? How is it already March? No way. I'm actually pretty delighted with how relatively small my March TBR is, um, cause January and February were a lot. <laughs> it's still quite a bit, don't get me wrong, but it feels very light to me, especially cause February was a short month with a very long TBR. Oh shoot, I'm missing a book. I'm, well, I may be missing a book. Anyway, uh, let's, let's do it. So the book that I may be missing is the third book in the Five Warrior Angels trilogy that I am buddy reading, doing a read along um, for with Aaron from Booked and Busy. However, um, when we chatted about book one, neither of us was a huge fan of it. And we were like, well, if book two is not much better, then we probably won't read book three. And right now I have not yet read the second book nor have I talked to Aaron about it. I have heard bad things in my Discord from patrons of mine that are reading it or have read it or just finished it. So we'll see. So possibly, I don't even know what it's called. Wait, it was The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and whatever the third one is, the third one will be here. <laughs> so that one I'm possibly reading in March unless we decided not to. And I don't know if that's the case right now, so. <laughs> Anyway, books that I'm definitely reading um, are as follows. The Year of Gaiman Continues with Smoke and Mirrors, which is a his first collection of short stories. This was also the first collection of short stories from him that I did read. Um, although this was his, this collection of short stories was not the first Gaiman thing that I read, but it was the first Gaiman collection of short stories that I read. Not that it matters. Anyway, I have, have I read this? No, I have not read this since I first read it. This will be my second time reading it. I have read, I think, some of the stories again. I think they've appeared elsewhere. Is that true? Or maybe I've just heard him because I got to see him speak a couple times. I might have just heard him speak. Uh, I mean, read them, one of them, some of them. Oh, okay. Well, I do have the illustrated version of Snow Glass Apples, which was published separately. And I have heard him read Chivalry a couple times. I think both times I saw him speak, he read Chivalry aloud. That might be it. So yeah, most of these I haven't read in several years. So I'm quite looking forward to it as I'm always looking forward to reading Gaiman. That's why I'm doing a whole freaking year of Gaiman. Next is a book that was quite an anticipated release for me and then I haven't read it yet. Ain't that just the way. And that is The Hood by Lavi Tadar. So this is a sequel to By Force Alone, um, but only insofar as like this is part of the same project. So By Force Alone um, was a grim, dark, slightly speculative retelling of the King Arthur story. So Lavi Tadar is giving this same kind of like grim, dark, speculative origin of the myth treatment to several stories in English history. So like, he started with King Arthur, he's now doing Robin Hood. So it's not a sequel in the way that like, it's a series where like, it's the same characters. It's obviously very different characters separated by many, many years. He's like giving it the same treatment. It takes place in the same world. Um, the same sort of like grimdark speculative version of our world. So I loved By Force Alone. It was very, very weird. <laughs> I have convinced some of my patrons to read it and so far, so not bad. I don't think anyone's hated it yet. So yeah, I'm just very excited to see him give that same treatment to Robin Hood. And I am reading this with patrons. So like those same patrons who are reading by Force Alone, I think are also reading The Hood um, with me in March. <laughs> Next uh, is the continuation of the um, Book of the New Sun read along on my channel. So um, at March, we are on book three. So we are going to be reading Sword of the Lictor in March. This will be a reread for me. Um, that's the last reread for me. In April, when we read Citadel of the Autark, that will be new for me. So I'm very, it's going very, very well. I'm very excited. It's very, it's really honestly really great to be able to pick it apart with um, people to like read it together and to, like our first chat about the first book um, Shadow of the Torturer. We chatted for like three hours <laughs> about it. So um, it's it's been really, really great doing this. So I'm really glad we're doing it. Um, and I'm really looking forward to the next installment. Next is the conclusion to another read along going on, on my Patreon. And that is the um, His Dark Material series. So we are at the third and final book, The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. This is my least, or my first time reading the series, this was my least favorite in the trilogy. I suspect that will still be true on reread, hoping it's not, but I'm still looking forward to it because I like Pil Philip Pullman's writing and I like this world and I like this story. That's why I suggested doing a read along for it on my Patreon. I wouldn't have done that if I didn't like this series, but it does go a bit downhill um, as the series goes, in my opinion, or at least I felt that way the first time through, so we'll see. Next is the book that my patrons have chosen for me to read and vlog for them, even though they all think that I'm gonna hate it because my patrons like to choose violence. That is The Three-Body Problem by... Okay, I've 
someone told me how to pronounce it and I forgot. And I didn't think about that until right now. I should have looked this up. Um, by Mr. Liu. <laughs> I mean, I am excited, if I'm honest, to read it because it was the winner of the Hugo. There's gonna be an adaptation of it. A lot of people I know really, really like it, but everyone is like, it, the, the character work is so abysmal in this series that that's why everyone thinks I'm gonna hate it, I'm pretty sure. I, I think that's why everyone thinks I'm gonna hate it. So we'll see. I can like a book that has other things going for it, I think. I'm sure I must have done at some point. Um, can't think of any examples right now, but yeah. So, so this is happening. Um, and we shall see how it goes. So yeah, blog in this one. Next is another read along going on on my Patreon and that is the Golden Wolf Saga, another reread for me because we gave up on the Warlord Chronicles by Bernard Cornwell and swapped in the Golden Wolf Saga. So we're on book two, The Sea Queen by Linnea Hartsoeker. And kind of, it's a reread for me. I love these books. It does not go downhill as we go. I really, really liked The Sea Queen, um, if memory serves. I kind of, I read them all back to back the first time I read it. So it gets a little muddled in my mind what, which things happen in which book, but if I remember correctly, The Sea Queen was possibly my favorite installment, but I loved all three. So very much looking forward to some Viking vibes. Next is another read along. <laughs> that is the Red Rising read along, continuing with Golden Sun, which remains my favorite book in the original trilogy and is probably my favorite book in the Red Rising saga to read. By which I mean, I don't think it's the best quality. Like I think his writing, like his um, abilities as a writer have substantially grown. And I think the best quality thing he's written is Dark Age, followed by Iron Gold. His new books, like he's grown so much as a writer. The quality is just miles and away better, but it's still the most fun <laughs> to read Golden Sun. That'll be hard to beat because the new books <laughs> are really good, but they are not what I would call fun. <laughs> dark Age is not fun. <laughs> yeah, Golden Sun is just a good time. That's not to say that there aren't dark things that happen, um, but it's quite a ride and I'm very excited to go on this ride again. <laughs> and of course to chat about it with Angela and Alex. And last and probably least <laughs> are my book of the month club books. So my book of the month is, I've, I'm trying not to pick the speculative ones because I always hate those. I don't think I've ever liked a speculative book that I picked from Book of the Month. So, I'm, But when I have liked Book of the Month Club books, which has been rare because I always pick the speculative one, they've never been speculative. So I have like disliked books from them that were not speculative, but I've never liked a book that was speculative. Anyway, I'm trying to increase my odds of liking Book of the Month Club books by not choosing speculative books. So I chose the thriller this month and that was The Writing Retreat. And it sounds like it's, like it's an isolated closed circle mystery about writers which like, that sounds great. <laughs> I don't know how it'll go, but I'm betting it will be a page turner at the very least. So I'll have something of a good time, even if it's not that great, but hopefully it'll be great. Hopefully. I've had pretty good luck with thrillers from them, so. And my other book of the month club was an add-on um, because I loved The Lincoln Highway so much, which was my add-on in December or January or whatever. I got another book by the same author. Uh, I, I picked Rules of Civility. They have three of his books on Book of the Month Club. I think I probably should have chosen the other one. Two Gentlemen in Moscow? Is that what it's called? A Gentleman in Moscow? Something about Moscow, I think. Anyway, people told me that that one is way, way better than Rules of Civility. So I'll, I mean, I'll give that a go, regardless of how this goes, because I liked Lincoln Highway a lot. People told me this is very reminiscent of The Great Gatsby, and that's why they don't like it. And I don't love The Great Gatsby, but I don't dislike The Great Gatsby, so. I might do better with this than other people have, or I might hate it, who knows, but at least short. And I do very much like the cover. That's neither here nor there. And those are all the books that I'm for sure, for sure reading in February, as well as one that I might read. In March, not February. Oh my, you cannot convince me that it's March. Have I been saying February for this whole video? I've been saying March. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts, what you're gonna be reading, if you've read these books, if you are joining for any of these read-alongs, whatever you don't let me know. I post videos on Saturdays, other random times as well, but Saturday, so like and subscribe to my Patreon if you feel so inclined. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.